Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dope. So I've been on vacation the past couple days, so I just got back and I've seen a lot of new information in the zombie <laughs> the zombies community. Apparently, uh Mr. T Lexify is out as a as a groomer now. He's a part of Team Diddy. Um, you know, EDP, Dr. Disrespect, you know, Chris Ava Tyson, you know, all, all of them. He's he's part of the crew now. Drake <laughs> it, it's just it's just so crazy how it literally is every month now it's it's literally someone someone new that's getting caught um but apparently this started because of a transit video that he covered it's about this modder guy from the cliff notes that i know it's about this this developer dude that made transit or was in development development of making transit um, he made a map that was really good it was a remastered he took it down he also was trying to make transit and had people basically donate to him for the funds or donate funds to him to make the map um, and then essentially he just deleted his account took all the money took down the maps everything that he made and just vanished and then you got Lex over here that pretty much just defended him essentially um it got to the point where he even like he took down like all the comments or he basically turned off his comments on his video um videos his comments were turned off um and then people started to go through his history on i guess twitter and everything else and then ended up finding his ex and then started doing some quick maths quick maths and some things didn't add up um, apparently his ex was a minor at the time while he was dating her and then he came out and said no it's not true at the time when we were dating we were both minors I was 17 she was like 15 or something like that and then out of nowhere she's like no you lying groomer that's all wrong you were actually eight no what did she said yeah 18 and I was 15. Um, the person I'm talking about is Pure Softy. Um, and then he hit her with the rebuttal. No. Well, I guess not even about that afterwards. He's like, well, on top of that, if you're going to out me, I'm going to out you too. You're a groomer too because you cheated on me with a person underage while you were 20. You were 17. So then they both just like, oh my gosh. They both pretty much put out their own like expose of a whole document thread on their side of the story Lex put out his on what day did he put out his I think it was like the 26th or something of this month I want to say the 25th he put out that uh, to prove the cheating thing happened like the 24th oh my gosh just I'm not going to show it here because the messages are just so vulgar and just cringy that I just YouTube won't even that YouTube won't allow people just to read that conversation. I'm gonna still connect all the uh, links and everything in the description. But bro, it's just it's just bad. But he ended up posting that on the 24th. Then he posted his doc on like the 26th, I think I said. And then in his doc, he's pretty much just saying that she abused him. Um, he had a good relationship with her mom. Um, she was basically blackmailing him for money. Like, throughout, like, pretty much their whole relationship. Well, I guess after their relationship ended, whenever that did, she kept begging him for money. And then also at the same time talking about she would come out with all this information about him. And then essentially he was paying her off as hush money. But then she was trying to play it off as she just needed her bills to be paid. Um, both just just terrible people just at the end of the day. Both just terrible people. Then he shows like a thread or like his PayPal accounts. Bro was sending her like literally when he says like tens of thousands. Man was sending her thousands of dollars. I think like the first two transactions you see is like 1500 2k. And then it just goes and he shows like a two month like a two month cycle of yeah like a two month cycle so then basically his thread is just like look it proves that like in our relationship um she was the abuser like 
she was threatening me this whole time also kept texting me saying me to unalive myself and things like that she even said i hope you die in your dreams is actually hilarious um yeah but just things like that and then he was pretty much just trying to be apologetic about everything that he never meant to hurt her um that he was sorry then he also sent her a deceased and desist letter because she kept you know basically threatening him and saying a bunch of stuff online and like she could be fined up to like ten thousand dollars if she you know broke whatever law essentially and then he was texting her mom about it getting her involved and telling her to hey watch your daughter pretty much so just some just wild stuff and then it goes on to her side <laughs> um oh and then even before that breast this dude this dude said my nigga my nigga lex like bro <laughs> bro <laughs> um but then she uh posts her own you know mega thread of her side of everything that happens basically everything that lex said just the opposite with a little bit of extra spice um she says the same thing that he pretty much physically abused her verbally abused her posts you know a couple pictures in there um also that he she wasn't the only person that he was talking to and also he was repeatedly cheating on her too and was talking to other people that were freshly 18 that's what i think she likes to use in her in her doc um that he was sending people like happy birthdays and stuff like that as soon as they turned 18 and her question was how do uh how do you know them before they turned uh 18 as like a 24 year old man how do you know that and then also that he was just subscribing to a bunch of OnlyFans and stuff like that. I mean, all of that is like, you know, it's whatever. I mean, it kind of just shows like his addiction towards, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, especially if it's like during their relationship and everything like that. But in her doc, you know, it makes a little bit more sense. But then she also provides like a letter that he full on apologized for like beating her and choking her. Like, bro, it gets, it gets crazy actually crazy but just y'all just have to just go through and read it i promise you just just take a glance through she her page i've read the whole thing it's oh my god uh, he's like anti lgbt and it's just so much just extra stuff um but yeah her doc is like 64 pages there's a lot of like i don't want to say like nonsense stuff in there there's just like random Things that you can just skip by that really don't mean or pertain to anything. Just like even with Lex's stuff, like the whole text messages with her mom kind of don't really have any meaning. And then there's some like, you know, text that she shows with him that, you know, they're just text messages. They don't really prove or disprove anything. They're just random text messages pretty much just to show like the other person is like a crazy person. But at the end of the day, they're both pretty much just terrible people. Uh, it's basically a groomer v groomer and then I don't even know what's gonna even happen after this like I don't think he's made any other statement after that like after she put out hers at the end of her thing she said that she's gonna put out like a part three um, if he doesn't do something like if he doesn't confess or apologize I have no idea In my personal opinion it just seems like she wanted more money this whole time at least how his doc showed it and it kind of shows itself she's been asking him for money for like a full year afterwards like he started talking to him again he basically said no like he cut her off she said that she was going to be homeless and all this stuff and he basically said no i'm not saying you no more money and then she came out with the expose and i mean she's not wrong but it's just it's kind of weird how she came about it but she said that she wanted to you know say her piece when she wanted to and then also she's trying to defend the part where she slept with the underage too so i don't know i i don't know man i was only talking about it because it it was almost kind of zombies related at the beginning and then it just kind of spiraled out until it's like its own thing it's like the drake kendrick thing it started out as a sparring match it was cool and then it just spiraled into into whatever it is now <laughs> 
but um that's pretty much it i didn't want to talk about it. i don't i didn't want to go through every single thing i was thinking about it but like if i did that the video would be like maybe two hours long like just an hour each maybe three because hers is even longer than what he wrote and then all the tweets and stuff yeah it's just it's just it's just a lot um but yeah that's uh, pretty much what's going on in the zombies news right now other than you know mr waffle um, you know, he's part of, you know, the Treyarch, everything. I didn't make any, like, extra videos after that. Um, people were saying, oh, he, they were planning it the whole time. I don't know. Maybe they seen his stream. Maybe they seen his videos and were like, yeah, we're kind of, like, doing this dude wrong. Let's send him something. So, he, you know, he's kind of involved because it's also great marketing. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, what's going on? It's crazy, man. Everybody's getting caught out here. Just, just stop talking to kids. It's, it's not that hard. Well, anyways, um, appreciate it. Leave a like, subscribe, engage, bro, do something. Get the algorithm going. Appreciate it. All right, peace.